Hello and welcome back to Red Right Hand Forge. This is Marshall and in this video I'm going to try something a little different. I've actually never done canister Damascus and I've been meaning to try it for a while now. Uh, I picked up these little four inch long two by two square stock pieces from Amazon and they've already got the the bottom capped on there which is nice for me because I'm not a great welder as you'll see because I still have to put the the top on once we get everything filled up. Um, plus my steel supplier is like 45 minutes away each direction. I don't feel like making that drive. So yeah, so this is kind of convenient. I've also got, I think they're 3 8 diameter uh, ball bearings and then some 1080 powdered steel with a 2% pure nickel blended in it. Um, and that's ultra fine powdered steel. So once we get the bearings packed in here, we'll, we'll fill it with powdered steel to fill up all the voids. And hopefully that gives us a nice contrasting pattern. My intention is to put a little bit of a twist on it once I get it all into one solid mass. I'm not going to go too crazy and try to twist it you know, a million times, but I do want a little bit of a wave in the pattern. Hopefully it looks cool. One thing I do know is that I'm not going to fill this with white out or white paint and then try to peel off the canister after we get it uh, smashed together. I, I've seen bladesmiths struggle and struggle with that. And it just seems to me like a big waste of time. This is only a sixteenth of an inch mild steel. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle to just grind it off the core once it's all together. I hope so anyway. That's, that's my game plan. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. In the meantime, enjoy the ride and hopefully we learn something and nothing blows up in my face. Now that I've got this all put together and compacted as tightly as I can into the canister, we want to bring this up to about 2250, 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. And we want to hold it at that temperature for about 20 to 25 minutes. They call that a heat soak. I'm mostly going by color here. Um, since it is such a big block of steel, basically what I'm looking for is for it to get to that bright yellow almost stick of butter color and then that's when I start my soak time because if it's that color on the outside it takes quite a bit longer for it to reach that temperature all the way through the core. And once we get it to that point you can see it's become nice and soft. I have to be very gentle with the hydraulic press here because we don't want to overdo it on this first. This is, this is just setting that initial weld. So I'm not really trying to shape or anything. I'm just trying to get everything kind of pressed together and this is a very crucial point. You really don't want to rush this. You want to make sure you're up to temperature before you before you make that initial weld set. And then we proceed on from there, kind of alternating between the power hammer and the hydraulic press. And eventually we'll draw this out and put a twist on it.
now I've got the billet on the surface grinder just to clear away any excess scale which will allow me to get a better look at the consistency of the steel. I'm looking for cold shunts or you know cracks or anything like that and it looks great. Um, I don't see any issues or flaws. I left this billet really thick because I wanted to make sure that when I was done grinding it flat that all the canister material was pretty much out of the way and we're left with you know, just the hardenable steel from the core. And here's the finished product, or at least the finished billet, and I think it came out really nice. I'm really happy with this pattern. It's pretty much what I had in mind. Um, I wasn't sure how close I could get to what I envisioned, and this is this is right on par with that. Um, I don't see any major issues, and there's plenty of steel here for two blades. Um, so if you want to find out what happens with this, uh, keep checking out the channel and uh, in my next video I'll, I'll turn this into a knife or hopefully I will. If you have any questions uh, just leave them in the in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.